It's been nearly two weeks since severe storms tore through Northeast Ohio, causing heavy rain and flooding. I didn't know what to do, really. I thought, what do I do? I have to go get towels, I have to get something. We've been there in communities as the cleanup continues. And Joe, I was out last night until after 2 a.m. and I saw the look in people's eyes who couldn't get home and tried to get out. It was, it was scary. Tonight, we follow through as another community asks for help. You have to worry every time it rains about what's going to happen. It's, it's the number one priority. It's been ongoing for, what, 50 plus years? We continue reporting on finding a permanent solution to the recent flooding that exploited many parts of Northeast Ohio. This time, Fairview Park. Residents demand answers to a decades-long problem. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis spoke with homeowners there as city leaders work to find the funding needed to dramatically improve an aging wastewater infrastructure. Judy Churchin has lived here at her Fairview Park home for more than 40 years. And because she uses a wheelchair, Judy keeps a lot of what she needs down here in the basement. That's why when her basement flooded after the August 24th storm. I didn't know what to do really. I just, I thought, what do I do? I have to go get towels, I have to get something. Flooded basements are a chronic problem dozens of Fairview Park homeowners have been living with for decades. Flooding pictures posted all over the community of Fairview Park Facebook page. How I'm gonna clean the basement, how I'm gonna get it all done. Is there germ, are there germs down there? Do we have sewage down there? I don't think anybody should have to live like that. To have to worry every time it rains about what's gonna happen. Judy's neighbor, Cheryl Krogman, also lives with a chronic flooding yearly drama. She and her husband are constantly monitoring their basement. And I, and I started to cry down the basement and I got upstairs and my, I'm still crying and he says, what's the matter, did we get more water? I said, no, these are tears of joy that we didn't get anymore. It's, it's the number one priority. It's been ongoing for what, 50 plus years? John Mandula, who is running for Fairview Park Councilman at large, says Coe Creek has been part of the flooding issue in his neighborhood. We came home from vacation a few weeks ago and it was just packed with sewage up and down. Fairview Park Mayor Patrick Cooney told News 5 his administration is working on permanent solutions, collecting a $3.5 million federal grant to replace sections of the old sewer system. Some of it built one hundred years ago and purchasing a new sewer jet cleaning system just last year. Mayor Cooney and John Mandula are hoping the communities who rely on the Rocky River wastewater treatment facility will work together to find an answer. I know we roll into Westlake Bay, Fairview River, all go into the, the river treatment plant and I'd like to see some type of collaboration between the communities. And Mayor Cooney says an effort to find additional state and federal funding is already underway, hopefully coming up in 2024, and says that a master flood plan study is currently in the process of being crafted and should be completed by the end of this year. You know, News 5 will follow through on this developing story. Reporting right here at Fairview Park City Hall, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.